Hello YouTube, it's me TFL Wilderness, welcome to my channel and welcome to the second of this month's Korean Toy Reviews or Korean Transforming Robot Toys or KTRT as I like to refer to them. Yes, uh, I've got a, a, a figure that arrived um, earlier this month and uh, before I get into it I just want to you know, say a little something about you know, the reasons why this toy that I've got it, that I'm reviewing for you today is a very interesting... Um, situation surrounding it well basically um back in the last year you got well hello carbot by choi rock and uh, they like to refresh the toy line every six months you know you'll get an, a new season you'll get 26 episodes of the cartoon show you'll get a new range of toys blah 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 it lasts for six months then then we're on to the next season you know and the the, the, the it's usually from like from from, from about August, it usually comes out August, sort of September, and then it's when I think it's like, like, yeah, yeah. So they, they have one sort of around sort of like March, April, and then they have another one in like August, September is, is usually when they, they change over from one season to the other. And back in the last year, it was season 12, which was a Hello Carbot Bomber or Bumba toy, toy line or, or show where you had, you know, they had the, they had the ball launcher gimmick. Uh, they, and then at the end of the show, the robots get out of this big drum and go, doom, 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 you know, and, and everybody starts dancing to the, the beat. And uh, yeah, it's OK. I've got a couple of figures from the Bomber toy line, but I'm not really into it. But the season before, season 11, Hello Carbot Samba toy line. Now you're talking. Samba toy line uh, had a really cool gimmick where you had the robot and then you had, you had, well, you had the alt mode and then you know the back of the, the vehicle used to come off and it became a robotic animal and then you, you had the base robot and then the robotic animal like plugs into the back of the uh, the um, the robot and uh, powers it up and becomes Samba mode and uh, yeah and it gives it all sorts of powers but the, the, the Samba bots were interchangeable between the different figures in the line so you could take one off one figure and put it on another and give it a totally different look really cool gimmick had its shortcomings you know, because of the way the figures were designed, they, they had design limitations built in. But uh, on the whole, I was quite happy with the way the gimmick worked. And I decided to go all in with the Hello Carbots Samba toy line and bought all the figures for it. Now, season 12 had its full run. And then coming into the autumn of last year, it should have gone into season 13. But it didn't. Because we had the uh, theatrical release of the fourth Hello Carbot movie which was you know, Secret of the Suspicious Magical Troop. And they rehashed a, a bunch of uh, characters for that movie and they introduced some new ones, most notably Green Farm and King Dozer. I've already done reviews on They're They're pretty great figures. But because of that, season 13 has been delayed. And coming into 2023... They were in a bit of a pinch, you know. They, they, they hadn't done the necessary development on season 13 and, you know, which should have happened back in the last year, but because you know they was all wrapped up in doing the movie, they, they've kind of got you know they kind of got behind. So what they've done instead is they've done an extension of season twelve. They've extended it into twenty twenty three. They've done a, 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 an additional run of episodes that tagged onto the back of season twelve, and they've introduced two new Samba bots. Hello, Carl. Season twelve is the Bomber season of the bomber toy line so you've got you know they've got ball launching gimmick they've got you know they've got like these little animals that transform with the ball launching gimmick they've they've bought back you know they, they had um uh hawk x came back he was one of the first characters you had laranja uh and then you got like like the uh you know, you've got you've got a drogue cop and the, you know the combiner and all that anyway samba figures they've introduced two new samba figures and when i found out about this i was pretty annoyed because I thought I'd bought all the Samba toys from the Season 11 toy line. I was quite happy. I bought them all. I've got them all. I've got all the Samba toys. And then, you know, Choi Rock goes and does two more. And when I saw the pictures of them, they ain't lookers. And But I had to buy them because they were Samba toys. So were it not for the fact that these figures were uh, Samba figures that have the Samba toy gimmick, which I really like, I would not have bought them. I would not have jumped in on these figures. I would have given them a pass because I do not or don't care for the way they look. But I've bought them anyway. And they've both arrived. And the first one I'm going to show to you today is this guy. 
Hello Carbot, Samba Storm Diver. Now, as I do, let's have a quick look at the box. As you can see, it's a Hello Carbot Samba box. It's got the Samba, it's got his name in the, the, the Samba sort of logo here with the uh, the red and the blue sort of switcheroony arrows going round it. Um, yeah. <laughs> He's got a very, very busy robot mode, this guy, which doesn't look great. And then you can look on the side, you can see a Samba animal, who's a crocodile. And then you've got all the stuff on the top. And then you've got the uh, the diagram on the back that shows the mix and match nature of the Samba toy gimmick. And we've got, you know, characters from the original toy line. You know, you've got, um, you know, you've got uh, Sam Buster, you've got... Uh, I'm trying to remember. Well, yeah, um, Max Dozer. Uh, you've got uh, what was his? Oh, it's been a while since I mess with these. Um, but anyway, and it and you know and uh, it it shows you, you know the crossover nature of of the uh, of the Samba gimmick, which is really good. Anyway, so you get your box inside these boxes. They're like uh, they're like the egg carton um, style packaging, which I really like. I, I like the egg carton styles better than them cardboard runners that they put in the other figures. It's much much better. It's it's kind of like you know you no know, uh, a plastic clamshell or or polystyrene runner, but it's made out of recycled materials. So it's, it's I wish more people would use this egg carton type packaging. It's 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 really good. Anyway, so you get. A set of instructions, black and white, that uh, you know show you, you know transformation in both directions and all the gimmicks, all the features that the figure's got. You get the little cube that goes into you know the watch, the uh, the watch that uh, Chatan has. Uh, there's usually a picture of it on the box somewhere. No, there isn't. Oh, that's strange. They usually have it on the box. Oh well. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I haven't got it, so I can't, I can't demonstrate those. And then you get the figure. And here is Storm Diver, because uh, if you look on the top of the box, there's his name there in English, Storm Diver. And here's his up mode, and it's some sort of futuristic amphibious vehicle. And it looks kind of all right, actually. I, I quite like it. It's very sort of futuristic, very sort of swoopy. It's got a, a big sort of transparent green cockpit at the front. It's got these lime green colours. It's got two sort of like sort of thrusters or boosters on the back. It's got large pinned wheels. And you go around and it's just a, a chunky sort of vehicle. Now, it also has a feature whereby you can sort of tuck the wheels in like so. When it goes swimming, when it goes in its amphibious mode, it tucks its wheels in and it becomes a boat. And then it can sail along, do 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 do, you know, and do marine sort of jobs or rescues or, or whatever. So yeah, it's it's not bad. I, I I quite like the alt mode on this. It's got some nice colours. It's got some nice greens going on. It's an interesting shape. It's an interesting vehicle mode. I mean, how many amphibious transformable amphibious vehicles have we got? Not many. So yeah, it's uh, it's it's cool. And there we go. There's his alt mode. Again, he's got large pin wheels, rolls extremely well. Does have weapon storage underneath. He's got a gun here, which plugs in. It, it barely clears the wheels, but it, it does clear the wheels. You know, if you're on a flat surface, it will roll quite well, but you can just pull the gun off, gun off and uh, put it to one side. And then we will get into the transformation. But first, let's do the Samba gimmick with the Samba animal. So this is a Samba you know, toy, Hello Carbot Samba toy, and you've got this large vehicle, but then you do this. You pull off the chunk that will become the Samba animal, and then you're left with this skid, which still looks good. I mean, there is vehicles in the world that, that kind of look like this. They have like a cab at the front and a, and, a, and a sort of a flat deck at the back. You remember that, 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 the, the mini moke? Do you remember that, the Mini Moke? I mean, okay, it's a small vehicle, but it was kind of like a Mini, but it had like a Mini Gubbins at the front, and it had like an open sort of tub at the back, and you could just drive it around on the sand, you know, that was a, a pretty uh, interesting vehicle. But anyway, so this is the thing. You take the Samba gimmick off, the, well, the Samba animal off the back, and then you're left with this, and this is all the meat that will form the basis of the robot mode. And this is one of the, the downfalls of this, this toy line, is that you don't have much 
bits left or stuff left to form a, a cohesive robot. But uh, we're not looking at him right now. We're looking at the Samba animal first. So here we go. It kind of looks on its own. In fact, if I put that up like that, it kind of looks... I think it looks like a hovercraft on its on its own because it's got you've got the thrusters on the back and you've kind of got a cockpit at the front or or like a I think that looks like a front of a vehicle and then it, you know you can say it, it sort of hovers along but yeah it's a samba animal it, it, it turns into a robotic animal so let's do that shall we so first of all we can pull out a tail then we can sort of pull those off Take these panels at the back and then bring them round and clip them in. Then you uh, bring these round and fold out these fetums like so, like that. Then you've got these bits here which you fold forwards. And then you bring down his head. <laughs> and there we have Rolling Croc. Now apparently that's his name. And uh, you know, he's, he's a big walking crocodile. And I have seen an episode of the show where this guy debuts. And he's absolutely hilarious, this guy, when he comes out. He just goes around going chop, 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 chop. You know, so chasing the bad guys and you know, trying to eat them. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, I quite like Rolling Croc in the show. Well, what I've seen of him. Um, so that's his... <laughs> I mean, he's standing up. Now, it's all right. It's, it's kind of all right. But I think it would have been better if you could lay him down flat. And then... On the box, these arms are, are shown as folding forwards, but they don't. They, they, they only fold back. They do not fold forwards because there's something stopping them folding forwards. And, uh, and you know, the feet... I mean, if you could fold them forwards, you know, you could probably, you know, make him look like a, a proper alligator that crawls along the ground rather than the, the one that stands up. Like uh, Lyle Lyle Crocodile, because I watched that last night, and uh, yeah. So the only this isn't a singing crocodile. Um, yeah, so he's he's got an opening mouth, and uh, he's got this kind of dislocating lower jaw, but that's part of the uh, the samba gimmick when you he, he combines with the uh, the other robot mode. So anyway, his name's Rolling Croc. He forms, you know, he forms a walking crocodile monster <laughs> it's weird it's strange but there you go there's his uh, samba animal then we get onto the the main guy himself so we need to transform this guy again they're fairly straightforward the transformation on these they they, they 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 follow a basic pattern because when you look underneath you can see there's the chest there's the arms there's the legs you know it, it's just it's, they all work basically the same so you can fold these out of the front first, then you can bring the legs down, split them, and then there's a, there's another there's another piece that folds out in there. So there's an extra bit that folds out, and then you put that back. So you. Fold that out and put that back, and uh, there's his feet. Then you get these side panels, and then you just sort of fold them out to the side a little bit, like that. And then his arms, so you bring these down. Uh, Fold these bits forward, and then, oh yeah, you've got to fold the wheels in, and then you rotate them forwards. And there is Storm Diver in his base robot mode, and he looks all, all right. It's got some interesting colours going on, he's got the lime green, he's got the dark green, some patches of red, and you've got the, uh, the, uh, the sort of the charcoal-y grey. He doesn't look too bad. 
However, um, because of the nature of the Samba gimmick, um, when you transform this guy, he's got a lot of sort of kibble. He's got, for instance, these panels here. They just, they're on two hinges. They just fold up and down like that. They're kind of like sort of coattails hanging off the side of his waist, but they sort of get in the way of things. Anyway, uh, he's pretty clean around the back because he's a Samba bot. You know, they have the... Uh, the connection point for the Samba animal to go on the back and the little little panel for the Samba, you know, the Samba power-up gimmick. Um, articulation, uh, he's got a head rotation. He does have some light piping. It's, it's not particularly great, but he does have light piping. And you've got shoulder goes down like that. Elbow, a little over 90 degrees actually. And then the arm can fold in and out like that. Fairly short, stumpy arms, but again, that's due to the the nature of the Samba gimmick and the fact that you know the, his you know when you take the Samba animal off, there's not much meat left to make the robot, so it's, it's just made out of basic chunks that form a, a robot. And all the Samba robots have this same sort of deal. I mean, like these these sort of coattail things. Um, Night Hopper, the first Samba bot I reviewed, that white ambulance um, fembot who had that, had that owl as a Samba animal. She had this this thing as well, where she had these alt mode panels which just folded down on you know hinges down the side and just got in the way um yeah so loud ratchets arm elbow nothing at the waist um hips forwards back out so you can do a very very wide split vice swivel Deep knee bend, but you've got the extra joint that you can, you know, sort of bring his feet forwards on that additional transformation joint. Um, he's not great to pose um, because he's so ch so chunky um, and he's got a lot a lot of kibble getting in the way. It's it's difficult to get him in a meaningful pose, and uh, you know his feet are quite chunky as well. Um, he looks kind of cool, um, size comparison, but you know, Samba bots tend to be quite small. So yeah, you put him next to a leader bot, and uh, he's he's considerably smaller than a, than a you know, like a normal size leader bot. So there we go. Robot mode. It looks nice, slightly hampered, quite chunky. You know, slightly hampered due to his bulk um, on the articulation front. Now, uh, one more thing to say about this guy. Um, he's a Samba character, so he has Samba gimmicks. So, got to get his Samba bot. Sort of transform it a little bit. Right, and then we go Samba mode. Plug that on there, and then you have to fold all this stuff down. You have to fold that down to there, and then fold that out, and then that goes down there. And then there's a little panel in the top of, of his head that you fold out. It's kind of difficult. And there we have Storm Diver in his Samba mode. Oh, uh, yeah, one last thing. There we go. That's the uh, that's the Samba mode power up gimmick. It gets very busy when you put his Samba animal on. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's these uh, the boosters. Where do they go? They go somewhere on here, don't they? Oh yeah, they go on the back of his wings. So there we go. Uh, yeah, you could say it's a flight pack. It kind of looks like you know it could you know like a jet pack or something. 
The thing I don't like about it is you you know you split the uh, the croc head up to form you know sort of like chest armor that comes down over the front of his head, but you can barely see his head in there. Normally, in the the other samba animals, they had like a flap that came down over the top of the head that gave them you know like like a hat that they had on top of the head sculpt that you know made their head look bigger, and uh, it gave them you know sort of like the look of the uh, the samba animal but this guy is different he's got this visor that comes down over the top of his head and his head's you know, nestled in this little channel in the middle and then this bit here does not plug in it just it's on two big hinges and it just it just just rests down the front there that's a bit of an own goal i think they, they could have done something to, to so that clipped into place um yeah it's not great <laughs> um I can't really say much more about it. Um, his articulation is slightly hampered on the arms. Um, doesn't really do anything for the legs. That's it. It, it just just makes him look like like a a, a big sort of uh, power up backpack, which is exactly what a samba animal is. Um, not a fan of the, his final look. Um, the the base robot is. Again, it's an acquired taste, whereas this thing, it just doesn't do anything for it, in my opinion. I mean, some people might think this looks awesome and amazing and, and, and outstanding, but I'm not. I'm not one of those. Um, again, you know, the Samba gimmick, you can, you can take it off and plug it onto another figure. I haven't got any of my other Samba figures to hand to do to show the, the nature of the, the swappability of the Samba figures. This this review is a, a bit of a... a bit of a... Uh, what's the word? A bit of a last-minute rush job because I'm filming this on the uh, the Friday evening uh, before this video goes out on the Saturday morning. So yeah, <laughs> I ain't got much time to get it done, and it's already gone over 20 minutes. So let's 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 wrap this up. Um, yeah, the samba gimmick on this guy doesn't do him any favors. You get this humongous great bot, you know. I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. I, I think it, it's, it's way too busy. And uh, yeah, there you go. So that is my review of this thing. Um, Hello Carbot Samba uh, Storm Diver, who was actually released in the, the uh, extension to season 12, the Bomber Toys, uh, the Bomber, um, you know, season, rather than the, uh, the Samba season, which was season 11. So yeah, I don't understand why, to uh, why uh, no, no, Choi Rock did that made two new samba bots but i had to buy them and so far i'm not that impressed <laughs> so yeah there we go that's my review of that guy um i will be doing a review of the other um hello carbot season 12 samba figure next week um um drill burst and he is a, a real bundle of fun <laughs> Right, so that's me, TFR Wilderness. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review, and uh, I will catch you next time. Ta-da.